Welcome back to the channel. I've got the GT225 here with the rapid loader head on it. And I wanted to show you guys how to replace the string on the rapid loader head. So let me get up close here. So what you're gonna do is you have the line coming here and here, and then you have these two holes right here. You'll see a little bit of line showing in those holes. Now, as you use the line, it's gonna wear down and you're gonna have to replace this. To do that, just take your finger, grab the remaining string that's in that hole, and pull that out. I have a full length here, so I had to pull it out. It's a one-way system that feeds. And then you're gonna take your new eight-inch line, and you can cut your own. These are 0.95 that come with the trimmer. You can get a little bit thicker. It will support, I believe, the 0.105 is the largest it will support. Now, what you're gonna do is take your new eight-inch piece of string, and there's a little arrow marking where you need to insert that. There's also a little groove right here. Take that new string, stick that in the hole, and slide that in there until you see a little bit come out in this hole here. Then you're good to go. It's a one-way system again, so it's only gonna go in. So as you use it again, then you'll take it, take that little end, throw that away. I would recommend rather than buying the pre-cut lengths of string, just buy a spool of string cut yourself some eight inch lengths and you're gonna have to stick to eight inches because there's a blade here that's gonna trim it if it's any longer. Eight inches, cut your own, you're gonna save yourself some money. And again, really easy. If you wanna upgrade, I'm gonna have a video coming out soon on how to upgrade this head with the speed feed with the bump head. Hopefully this video is helpful for you, let you know how to put new string in your rapid feed head. If you've got any questions, throw them down below. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you guys next time.